Hey fishy people, welcome back to the channel. I'm coming at you with my 365 days of fish keeping series. That means I'll be posting one video a day for all of 2022, highlighting a fish, a plant, a fish food, an equipment, anything fish related. These videos will be quick little snapshots of the subject for the day. We're talking about fish or plants. There'll be a little synopsis with a care guide attached to it. If we're talking about food or equipment, I'll run down the pros and cons of each thing and also give everything a rating from one to 10 based on my personal preference and like and dislike of the product. As always, thank you so much for the support on all the videos. Please remember to smash that sub button and let's get into the video. In this video, we're looking at a plant that is really cool and unique in my opinion, and that is the Java Fern Windelow. I always say Windelow, uh, Latin names on the screen. Now, uh, this species is indigenous to Southeast Asia, and it's commercially grown in nurseries found in Taiwan. It's actually named after Tropica's founder, Holger Windelow. Put his name on screen too. I'm butchering that, but it's beside the point. And it's like it's a rough fern cousin. It's easy to care for in that any fish keeper can pretty much plop it in its tank and it's going to do well. It's got really long, bright green leaves that branch off into pom poms and look really cool. It's going to make for a cool plant to add a little bit of flair to your aquascape. And it's also going to provide a wonderful grazing area for your shrimp and smaller fish if they want to peck on algae and stuff that grow on it. Now, like other ferns, this plant is going to attach itself to pretty much anything in your tank if you don't attach it yourself. You can, of course, attach it using glue and putting string on rocks or wood or finding a small little hole or crevasse and sticking it in there. Personally, I just kind of stuck mine next to a piece of decor and let it root itself its own way and it was fine. Now, it's a relatively slow growing plant at first when you add it in your tank. It's only going to require a low to moderate light, which is, of course, nutrient-rich soil, and its grow rate can be increased through injections of CO2 and fertilizer supplements. Now, it does reproduce through rhizome division and the production of offshoots, you know. They're going to do the same thing regular ferns do. They're going to make the little shooters, and they can, of course, grow into full-fledged ferns if you let them. Um, it should not be planted with the rhizome buried in the substrate, or of course, it will draw, die like most rising plants. And of course, due to its more delicate leaves, uh, you shouldn't keep this with any like crayfish, big, bigger crustaceans, uh, medium or large cichlids, goldfish, any animal really that's gonna peck at the plants excessively. Like if you get guppies or mollies that peck at a little bit just to get the algae off of it, that won't be a biggest deal as a big cichlid or something is gonna come along and munch on it. Now, as far as tank parameters go, it's going to be okay in temps of 60 upwards of 84 degrees. Uh, I can take a pH of I've seen as low as 5.5, 5, upwards of 8. Most people say 6 to 8, 6 to 7, 5. So I would say shoot from anywhere to 6, 5, 7. Mine have been in waters of 6 and 7 and done fine. Again, it's going to want a low to moderate light, and it can grow about five inches tall in most aquariums. And of course, if you provide it with a liquid fertilizer and CO2 injections, and it's not a tank that's going to eat it, these plants can get very big and beautiful. Now, uh, because of the uniqueness of this plant and the relative ease of care, and the fact that pretty much anybody can pick these up and put them in their tanks, I'm going to give these guys a 9.75 out of 10. The only reason I'm not going to give these a full-fledged 10 is just because if you want to have some of those bigger sickles or something and you still want to plant it up, you won't be able to use this like you could a regular java fern. So, as always, thank you all so much for the continued support on all the videos. If you're new here, you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that sub button if you have not already. And of course, everyone, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've kept these plants, what your experience has been with them. If you have not already, please make sure you hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.